Site auditing is an important part of any campaign. It's probably one of the first things I do, to be fair. Um, before I touch a website, I'll go and audit it and make sure that the website is technically sound and it is a website that I think I can do good SEO on. If it's not, then I would always recommend to a customer to build a website that is better, um, you know, better structured for SEO. WordPress is great, many of the other CMSs are great, but they've all got problems and you need to iron out some of those problems. Um, and you know, certainly where we do find a lot of problems is people who've got custom built websites. We tend to do an audit and this bit's broke, that bit's broke or, or whatever. And you have to make sure that all of that kind of stuff's ironed out and that you do get the kind of best auditing score that you possibly can. In terms of auditing, I normally use a number of different tools, Screaming Frog, Sam Rush's auditing tool, and Deep Crawl. These are my three favorite tools. There are a lot more out there, on crawl, site bulb, just to name a few others, but there is a, they're all great tools. I just have my personal preferences and I will explain as to why I like each of those tools, how they work and why I use three different tools to audit a website. Um, and the main reason is I like comparisons. There's no one great tool out there. Some, some tools are better at some things um, than other tools. And, you know, SEMrush is one of my favourite tools, but its site auditing tool is very, very aggressive and it does flag up issues that are not even issues. So you've got to understand how you read an audit as well. It's not all about this audit says this, so it must be right. And um, there's certainly certain elements of certain tools that flag up some false positives and you need to know how to understand that. Um, SEMrush is a paid for tool, which you'll probably have if you're doing good keyword research. Um, Deep crawl is probably for bigger websites in my opinion and the reporting side of it is a lot more user friendly for a customer. Screaming Frog is free for up to 500 URLs, however you probably wouldn't be able to use that to report to a client because it's going to look like gobbledygook. But Screaming Frog is a good favourite of mine and is very in depth and it's up to me to use the tools so that I understand it, whether the client understands it or not is, you know, not all that relevant to be fair. So you need to use tools that, that you fully understand and uh, get uh, the technical side of the website you're working on um, ironed out.